What is up guys, today we are back with episode 29 of Battlespot Blast. So today we're gonna hopefully come back a little bit from the, I guess, kind of ditch we've been in lately. It's been pretty terrible, honestly. We're at 22 and 18, so we're kind of running up on 50-50 win ratio, which is not good at all. Definitely want to boost that up to like 75%, but obviously that doesn't happen overnight, so uh, we're at 1550 right now, that's not terrible in itself. Uh, more the whole win-loss ratio I'm worried about. But anyways, let's get right into today's matchup. So, for the first match we have Sylveon, Metagross, ooh, the Hydreigon, that's kind of cool. Um, I don't know, I, I find that I have a really easy time dealing with Hydreigon, but it is kind of cool to see because I really like the Pokemon. Uh, Terrakion, Bisharp, and finally the Suicune. So, Right off the bat, I'm not seeing anything that's going to be able to take down Smeargle, specifically um, Kang. So we can use Smeargle Kang right off the bat. Um, I want to be able to for sure take down that Hydreigon there. So I'm going to guess that we're probably going to end up seeing... Um, hmm... I want to say Bisharp or Terrakion set with Suicune. I'm going to guess that's what it's going to be. Anyways, so that means that we're going to need to bring Thunderous Orlando. Um, hmm. I'm going to say Lando just so we can deal with the whole Bisharp thing. Uh, plus, not to mention, I can definitely use it to deal... Well, no, we need to be able to deal with Suicune. That's it. That's it right there. That's my decision. Deal with Suicune. That's it. So... Uh, assuming we have a setter, uh, we're going, like, assuming we have a set, a set based, um, Suicune that's supposed to just set up Tailwind and then Scald away, I'm probably gonna end up seeing that first turn Scald, I would assume, but I guess we'll see. We'll see for sure. Bisharp and Metagross. Ooh. Subgross? Possible Subgross? I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see, that's for sure. Uh, Bisharp's gonna hit pretty hard though, that's kind of unfortunate. Uh, we are just gonna fake out Bisharp and then go for, uh, power up. No? Yeah. We could do a double fake out, that would just be pointless though, it wouldn't do much damage. Uh, I'm just gonna go for a power up punch on Bisharp. And we'll probably see... Yeah. Oh, whoops, I used it on... Okay, well, use it on Metagross by accident, I guess that works too. That's kind of unfortunate because I was going to uh, break Sash if possible, if it was Sashed, assuming it's not Life Orb. Metagross protects. God dang it, it's going to be a double protect. Okay. Well, that, that's fine. It's, uh, it's somewhat of a neutral turn. The only good thing we got out of this is knowing that... Uh, well, we got we got the Moody bonus. Attack rose sharply and special attack fell. Yeah, that doesn't mean anything. So... Um, I guess what we could do is we could go with a follow me or we could go with a dark void. Either one would work. Follow me would just mean that Kang lives another turn uh, very, very easily. Hmm. Why don't we go for a sucker punch on Metagross? I feel like that would be a good call. Uh, I could go for a power up punch on Bisharp, but then we're leaving Metagross wide open to do tons of damage, so... Uh, the Sucker Punch probably is our best call, unless it subs. If it subs, I'm going to be upset. If it subs, I'm going to be very upset. It better not sub. This thing better not sub right now. Oh my god, it subbed. Okay, whatever. We got Dark Void off. That's, that's what I'm talking about. That's... Metagross, avoid the attack! Are you kidding me? It's subbing. That just sucks. That absolutely sucks. A Lumberry? Hello? God, sub gross. Are you kidding me right now? Really? Really? Okay. Okay, that's that's fine. Uh, attack and defense, nothing. So what we want to go for is evasiveness, that's for sure. I don't know, though. I don't know. We're going to go with a follow me so I can get off the power-up punch. On Bisharp. Bisharp, use protect... So basically, Smeargle is just going to go down to Sash this turn. That's going to be the whole, the whole thing. Smeargle down to Sash. That's it. 
That's it. I should have seen that coming a mile away. Uh, evasiveness, please. Speed. Okay, speed's fine. Speed's fine. I can, wor I can work with that, too, that's for sure. We're going to go with the sticky web so I get the speed out here. And uh, I guess I could go for... Hmm. I'm just going to go for a sucker punch on Metagross. No, I'm going to go for the power-up punch. I still really, really do want to see the uh, powered-up sucker punch go off. For sure, if you sucker punch on Kang. No! Get out, jerk. Sticky web going off now. That's going to mean that whatever comes out next, assuming something ends up coming out next. Um, oh, please use it on Smeargle. Okay. Smeargle goes down. It's already outlived its usefulness at this point, so I'm okay with that. Power-up punch going off now. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh, that's a KO. Hello. That's a KO. Hello. Okay. I'm good with that. I'm good with that for sure. Wow. Fantastic. Okay. Uh, we're going to bring out Thunderous just because I don't want to bring out Sylveon right now. Hopefully we see Suicune come out here. No, Sylveon. Okay. Well, you know what? That's, uh, that's okay by me. It's going to get a speed fall there and... This is this might go okay. It might go okay. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and T-wave the Sylveon, and then I'm gonna go for a sucker punch on. No, you know what? I should just double edge Kang. Honestly, or Kang I sh as Kang, I should just double edge Sylveon. Get rid of it. I'm gonna do that. So Thunder Wave. Um, I'm sure we. No, we're not going to see a Protect. We didn't see a Protect. Uh-oh. 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 Uh-oh, no. Whew, okay. Well, we, we survived. We survived. We're going to take down Sylveon. Critical hit. I think we would have easily taken it down anyways with a sharp boost of... Uh, a two-stage boost of attack. But Kang's going to go down now, unfortunately. And now we're going to have to bring out Sylveon against the Metagross, so we're gonna lose this match, and I am very upset about that. That's not good, my friends, that is not good at all. Unless, no, it's, it's okay, it's Tracheon, so it's possible that we could maybe survive, maybe. Uh, there's a very big maybe going out there. Um, I'm gonna have to go ahead and T-Bolt Metagross and go for a hyper voice, but it's just not going to work. We're not going to be able to do this, guys. Iron Head's going to go off now and KO Sylveon. That's it. Oh, no. Survive 4 HP. Hello? T-Bolt going off now on Metagross. Break sub. Break sub. Sub faded. Thank you. Rock's like, God. I hate you. 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 Okay, well, we, we can work it out. <laughs> oh my god, no, we can't work it out. This is going to be a loss, guys. God, why? Why? Why can't I win? Um, God, I just failed so bad, though. Okay, it's going to go for another rock slide, so we're going to go for a T-Wave on Metagross here. There's no way we can win this. I have to get a bunch of flinches in a row for this to happen. Like, flinch paralyze here. Or not a flinch, I mean, uh, miss. Nope. That's game. Oh no, it's not game. Hello. That's game. No, Thunderous avoids the attack. Hello. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and T-Bolt Metagross. If we just keep getting them over and over again, we hit crits for every single move, then we have a- nope. Okay, well, it was worth a try. Man, I need to figure out my own team that works well. Because I, I guess I have to get used to all the different sets that are commonly used, but I, I think the only thing that I really screwed up on here was the whole um, not taking down Metagro or not predicting the sub before it actually happened. I knew it was happening before it happened after I chose my moves, but I didn't know it was happening as I chose my moves, I guess, if that makes sense. Hopefully we can go neutral again today, then. Please be neutral. Please be a neutral day. That's what I'm hoping for, guys. 
Because so far, honestly, this week is looking pretty terrible. 1530. <sighs> okay. We can do this. We can do this. I don't I don't want to be below the starting rating. That would just be terrible. Okay, so we got the Venusaur, the Aerodactyl. That right there, that's already interesting. We got the Gengar, the Galley, the Houndoom, and the Vaporeon. So Right off the bat, I'm seeing the Vaporeon, I'm seeing the Venusaur, and I'm thinking that we probably don't want to bring in Sylveon, because we're gonna... No, maybe we do. Uh, we're gonna have two... Three things that could take it out pretty easily via resistance. So we're probably, yeah, we're gonna go with Kinkelder Start with... No, wait. Yeah, we want to go with Kinkelder Start, because then we can also take down the um, Gengar, because I'm sure that's gonna come out as a setter. Um, so we're gonna go Kang, King Kelder, and then I don't think there's a reason to bring Smeargle at this point, so we're just gonna bring Lando, we're gonna bring Thunderous again, because Sylveon has one, two, three things that are gonna be super effective, or not super effective, two that are gonna be super effective, the Sludge Bombs, and also the Fire Typing, that means that it's not going to be able to do much damage. Vaporeon's neutral, Gallade is neutral, but Aerodactyl's the only thing that's really gonna be taking some serious hits from it. So, yeah, that's what we're gonna do. That's what we're going to do, but I'm sure that's a thick, fat Venusaur that we're going to have to deal with, and I'm not too fond of that. So, fingers crossed we can deal with it really, really quickly before it poses much of a threat. Kinkelder and Kangaskhan coming out to start us off, and what are we going to see against them? Oh, please. Uh, Pterodactyl and... oh man, okay, Vaporeon. Well, that's not as bad as it could have been. We're just going to go for an Ice Punch on Aerodactyl there, and um, I guess what we could do is we could go for a Fake Out on Vaporeon. I think we're gonna, just going to do that, and uh, hopefully deal out some damage, just dish out some damage to that Vaporeon, and hopefully KO the Aerodactyl, but I guess we'll see. I don't know exactly what competitive Aerodactyls with VGC run, so um, I guess this is just going to be a learning experience as well. Oh, Rocky Helmet! Double Rocky Helmet! Oh, man. Down... Oh, God. 60... Wait, Stealth Rock? Hello? Excuse me? I... I don't know why. I do not know why. That confuses me. Oh, it's Sashed? Just... Like, head exploding. What? What? You know, like, what's going on here? <laughs> We're just gonna mock punch, and, um... We can go for a double edge, that might KO. It just might. I'll please protect... Oh. Okay, well, we're just gonna mock punch and take it up there. Take it up there, get him out, get him out, see you later, see you later. Okay, critical hit, doesn't matter. Would have went down anyways, 1 HP, baby. Okay. Double edge, obviously, not gonna connect here, so... That's a little unfortunate, but it's okay. We're definitely winning out right now. The Stealth Rock, I still... It is beyond me why you'd use Stealth Rock in VGC. Um, unless you've got a plan. If you've got a plan, then obviously, you know, it'll work out, but... That's really strange to me. Really, really strange. So... Gallade needs to get out, so we're gonna go ahead and just double edge the Gallade. I feel like Vaporeon's not gonna be as much of a threat as Gallade is going to be, so we're just gonna do that. I wanna see how much Mach Punch does on um, Vaporeon as well. Mach Punch going off on Vaporeon. It's gonna obviously take a bunch of damage from. Yeah, oh man, over 30 damage. Gallade used Bulk Up. Why? I'm so confused. I'm so confused right now. Unless it's a bulky galley, in which case my head's just gonna... Okay. Okay. Yeah, that double edge taking... Ta going down, like, jeez. Wish. Okay, so it's a stall one. It probably... Probably a tox stall, honestly. I, I could totally see that. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and knock off... Just for future reference there, and then I'm gonna sucker punch, because that'll KO, absolutely. Please. Please, don't switch. Don't switch, please. I'm, I'm begging you, man. I'm begging you. Please don't switch on me. God. Bruh. 
Bruh. Bruh. Bruh. Bruh. Okay. We could... Well, that's a freebie. That is a freebie. Okay. Wow. Wish came true. Well, isn't that just great? Your wishes came true. So fantastic. I'm gonna ice punch. And... I guess I could power up punch, but I would be anticipating not actually going down um, to anything this turn. I think I'm going to do that. I think I'm going to power up punch. Can okay, use power up punch. Give me, give me the attack. Give me the attack boost. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Not going to do any damage. The point was not to do any damage here. Not very effective, but we got two boosted. Oh my god, no. No! <laughs> Why? Alright, Toxic going off on King Kelder, yeah. Going for the Tox stall, I gotcha, I gotcha. That's not Mega Evolved though, so this is gonna pack a punch. Why you would take the chance of a Guts King Kelder is absolutely beyond me, but okay. You know what, this guy's probably gonna end up beating me, so we will not question what he's doing right now. Absolutely not. So, I'm just gonna Ice Punch him. Hopefully he goes down. Uh, we're gonna go for a double edge on Aqually there. Uh, it's fast asleep. Doesn't go off, unfortunately. It's fine, though. It's fine. Giga Drain. Oh, the Giga Drain going off on King Kelder. It's not gonna do much damage, though. Only about 50 damage. It's gonna take it right up around half. Um, that's not bad, though. Scald going off now on Kangaskhan, I'd assume? No, King Kelder. Very strange choice. Ice Punch will KO. Yeah, so I don't know what's going on, but okay. Okay, sure. Uh, the Toxic's going to start stacking up that damage. Next turn, it's going to go down, unfortunately. That's really unfortunate, actually. Okay, so... Yeah, I think we won this one, though. Um, I can't see the Vaporeon coming back. I honestly can't. I'm going to go for a knockoff and a... Sucker Punch? No, wait. What do we have in the back? Uh, Lando and Thundo. Okay. Lando and Thundo. So we're going to go for Double Edge because that would absolutely be the best chance. Oh, Drain Punch. No. Hello. Ow. What? God. Why? <laughs> so we're going to be down to two again this turn. That's unfortunate. But it's okay because I think we're going to be good. Scald's going to go off now. That Yeah. Okay, so we are going to have to deal with the uh, the whole Rocky Helmet. Fortunately enough, Lando and Thundo are not going to have to deal with that. So we're in a good position right now. That is for sure. Oh man, those Stealth Rocks though. Those Stealth Rocks though. Hello, get out of here. Get out of here, Stealth Rocks. Get out of here. Intimidate going off now. Uh, that's not really valid. Like, I really don't care about that. Oh man, that stealth rocks. Those, they they kind of hurt. I'll admit they kind of hurt, but not too bad. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and rock slide. I don't see a reason why we would do anything different at this. Well, no, we're gonna go for the flinches because I just want to go for the flinches here. Uh, I'm gonna go for a T bolt. Then um, I probably should have taunted there actually, but it's okay. Not very effective. Ice punch. Hello. Oh, we lost. Wow, should have EQ'd. Should have EQ'd. Mistakes were made, but it's okay. Mistakes were absolutely made. Wish going off? No, awkwardly flinched. Okay. Okay. Uh, I don't know what we're going to see right now. Maybe a protect. Maybe a protect. I could probably get rid of... Um... Yeah, we need to get rid of the Gallade. That's going to be rough. Yes, okay. Protect goes off, and Ice Punch, ouch, that's a KO, dang, alright, well no, it's not a KO, whoa, okay, I thought that for sure would be a KO, but alright, I guess not, I guess not, that's fine, T-Bolt going off now, that will KO, thank you very much, goodbye Gallade, goodbye, and we're gonna go ahead and taunt with that Prankster though, no wait, it knows Scald, we can't do that, we can do that. I'm just going to go for the T-Bolt. That's all I can do. Um, obviously, Katox, obviously, it could go for 
Well, no, it's not gonna matter. Never mind. GG, my friend. GG. Okay, wow. 1-1, one, one, guys. We are 1-1 one, one again. So that puts us neutral for the week yet again. Except we probably lost out pretty far because someone with way under my rating right now just destroyed me. So, yeah. That's going to wrap this one up. I uh, hope you guys have a fantastic day wherever you are. I'm so sorry that I haven't been putting out the quality that uh, I know you guys m are probably used to at this point. I just... I don't know what's going on. The, uh... The teams just aren't working out as well for me. I'm not getting the reads off until, uh, until the next, like, until the turn starts. And then I realize what's going to happen before it happens, but then I can't respond to it. I don't know. I guess I just need to get better at actually, like, taking what I'm thinking of and applying it to what I'm going to do before I actually choose my moves for, like, turn number one. Because otherwise, like, w with that, I feel like things would go a lot better because normally my turn ones decide the entire match but yeah we'll try to fix it we'll try to fix it otherwise i will see you guys in the next video have a fantastic day wherever you are bye bye